Okay, good morning guys. We're here in Fuok and now we're gonna try and go get some breakfast, maybe a banh mi, maybe a coffee, I don't know. Um, and we're gonna try and rent, for the first time, a gas-powered motorbike. Uh, so wish luck to us and the rest of the world around us, because uh, I've not driven that yet. <laughs> um, Hopefully there's no disasters that we cause. But anyway, we're gonna go to a bunch of different beaches today. Maybe a temple, still trying to figure it out, but definitely the first stop we're making is Starfish Beach in the north. It's supposed to be famous for just finding loads and loads and loads of live starfish, and they're huge. Um, so let's see what happens. Okay guys, well, we got the bike right here. Woohoo! And uh, it drives fine. Uh, I don't feel, <laughs> you know, too scared to drive it now. This thing uh, drives like a dream. It purrs like a kitty cat. Or whatever car people say about their vehicles. How do you feel about my driving? It's not too bad. I thought he practiced or something, but he <laughs> didn't. She's so kind. But uh, yeah, we only needed to fill it two and a half liters, so it was like 60,000 dong, mm -hmm. which I guess is like three dollars or something. So mm -hmm. yeah, now we're gonna head off to the beach. Okay guys, we made it. We made it, woo! No we one died. <laughs> <laughs> we did not even script that at all. <laughs> um, yeah, man, that was a crazy, ah bang, uh, sketchy uh, road. All okay. dirt, bumps, stones, you have to cross over a rickety wooden bridge and stuff. But we're here, there's a lot of signs, these yellow signs, everywhere say, uh, starfish but anyway we're here we got the bike park there's hammocks and stuff you can also do jet skis the banana boats all kinds of stuff uh yeah maybe she'll do it but we're here for the starfish baby so we're gonna go up more that way and uh yeah i mean the water here is absolutely it's stunning so guys we're Beautiful. gonna show you some clips um man the way here mostly highway then we got onto a dirt road then we got into a stone road and uh now we're here at the sand so let's check it out guys guys this is like the best place ever. <laughs> so amazing. The water, it's not cold at all. It's like a warm bathtub. Seriously. This is like so nice. This is like the best beach ever. <laughs> and look, they've got damn hammocks in the sea how cool is that you guys want to see me be relaxing in the hammock now this is the life this is what i'm talking about And guys, we've arrived. Look, it's a real starfish. Wow, I didn't think they'd feel like this. You see? Check it out. There's its mouth. Here's a kiss. Mwah. 
<laughs> Whoa, I've never seen one of these alive before. And they're, they're all over, look. You see, up and down and all around. Oh, this guy's flipped over. There you go, buddy. That's so cool. Well, there you go, guys. Proof. There's amazing free things you can do here. <laughs> no entrance fee, no parking fee, no requests of any kind, except a lot of people ask us if we want to ride a boat or go on a jet ski, but uh, we're fine just chilling out with the starfish and swimming. This is so cool. And look, it's a little baby, baby a little, starfish. a little chubby baby starfish. So cute. Wow. <laughs> I try that again. You want to try that again? Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? It's soft. Yeah, that's also what she I said don't on a bad day. <laughs> Ooh. See? It's not going to hurt you. Ooh, looks like it's, it's scaly. Is pooping. It pooping. Maybe it's pooping. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> I'm sorry to disturb your pooping. Yeah. So well, you're taking a shit and someone just lifts you up into the sky. <laughs> and that'll, your asshole. <laughs> that'll really ruin your day. Okay guys, we made it to Bai Bien Gandao. And as you can see, it's definitely a different kind of beach than the starfish one, but it's still very nice. Uh, we're walking around, we've got all these colorful boats out in the water, I guess fishing. We've got some floating houses out there, kids swimming. But the beach itself is definitely uh, more thin so we're walking over there to chill under the tree and everything some more chill vibes and uh yeah i'll update you guys later it's a pretty nice place another free stop about 40 minutes on the motorbike from the starfish beach so guys we've got quite the relaxing vibe going on here with the coconut boats the steps the boardwalk leading over there. You can do a little seaside walk there. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Definitely a completely different vibe from the other place, seriously, but uh, it's nice. It's very, very relaxing and lots of restaurants here. I don't know what the prices are yet, but uh, we'll find out. Okay, guys, somebody couldn't wait for lunch. Huh? So, <laughs> we, uh, we left very quickly from Gond Gondal Beach. Um, didn't really explore the boardwalk or anything, but I mean, it's a seaside boardwalk uh, if you've ever done one of those. So we ended up coming to Grand World, which is some kind of weird European something, I don't know. Uh, shopping area amusement park something i don't know so we brought the the uh, motorbike here you just bring it over here to the security they give you the ticket for you to park because you cannot take the motorbike in uh it's free don't worry and uh yeah so there's coffee and food and all kinds of stuff uh from what i've heard it's all very overpriced but uh it's free to look right window shopping uh, we're gonna check it out uh, it at least looks very nice with this uh, European style uh, buildings um, so uh, yeah we're gonna 
check it all out, show you guys anything interesting we find. Just something to point out, guys, <laughs> uh, is that this place is still under construction for several years now, so a lot of places are still not open. Some of them even have North Korea-style storefronts with just pictures on the windows. But anyway, we've walked into this, I don't even know what, some kind of sculpture garden playing epic music. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. <coughs> totally free. They've got some kind of funky flower slide with the bridges on top. Maybe this is like some weird adventure park situation. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Looks pretty cool. It's right by the entrance, even. You've got face fountains, naked flower children, rhinoceri, and water coming out of the mouth. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Ooh. So guys, this, uh, this bamboo building is an art piece in itself that holds other pieces of art inside. It's by this famous guy uh, uh, it's by this famous guy, Trong Nya. And, uh, I gotta say, uh, it's quite nice. Um, you know, I'm a little picky when it comes to art. But I think this is quite a nice presentation. Ooh, that one's really cool. But yeah, so if you guys want to take a break, catch some art, all for free, see a cool building, uh, come to Grand World. Now it looks like we're in the town. You can go here to get your tickets. You can also ride the gondola down here for 200000 Way overpriced if you ask me, but uh, probably pretty nice on a cool day. Uh, they've got different kinds of coconuts and everything, coffee, massage, really all, all kinds of stuff. So we're going to kind of look around, see what's available, and uh, maybe we'll get something. You know, this is so crazy, guys, but actually you've got that whole thing over there that we haven't even walked through yet. It really goes and goes and goes, and this is only a very small part of what they're planning. Uh, along the road, there's just maybe two kilometers of signs with pictures of more stuff for this place. I mean, they're trying to turn it into a whole make-believe city, it seems like. So, I mean, right now it's pretty empty and whatever, but I think when they finish it, this could rival the size of Disney World because it's just so, so big. Uh, now, the quality, I don't know about all that, but... Um, it's not low quality, it's just, uh, you know, it's not Disney. That's a pretty tough bar to reach. <laughs> and if you guys come out to this part around 9.30 p.m., 10 o'clock, I've seen different reports, they will have what's claimed to be quite an amazing water show and performance. Um, we unfortunately have to return our motorbike at 8 o'clock tonight, so lame, 
but uh, it would have been cool to see it because that's free. Okay guys, well the sun is setting. We're starting to feel pretty burnt out uh, at the moment. So uh, we're getting back on the bike and heading to Onglang Beach for our final stop. So see you there. Okay, we've arrived to Onglang. Oh, and I'm not sure what's happening over here. Our bike is beeping. Hopefully there's not a bomb. Off it. Okay. Oh, we just had to turn it off. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, you have to go down this uh, really funny looking road. You'll see a dirt road in front of you and the GPS will tell you to go that way. But that way is closed. You cannot get through there. So you want to come up the paved road towards what looks like a restaurant or a hotel or something. And you just keep going past it. Uh, the guy there might tell you it's too late. Just ignore him. We're here for sunset. I'm not sure what to expect at this beach, but it's another free spot. The sun is setting, uh, so very exciting. You'll come down some walking paths. I definitely don't recommend bringing the bike, even though uh, we did see several people bringing the bike. It does not look safe, especially if you're a novice. Um, it is really beautiful here though. And it's a very short walk, you know, two minutes, three minutes. So um, no need to risk it. Just walk on over, enjoy the view. Man, this is looking nice. Well, it appears we wandered onto a resort, guys. Uh, it looks pretty nice. Uh, nobody stopped us, uh, but we're gonna see if we can just enjoy the sunset here. <laughs> well, we found some hammocks, guys. What do you think? All right, guys, we relaxed at the beach. The sun is going down. Well, pretty much is down now. So we're gonna take our gallant steed off to the city to enjoy the rest of our evening all right don't forget to like comment and subscribe, subscribe.